Hey, welcome to day 77, I think. Lucky numbers. Hope I get a kiss. Um, sorry there's no live stream happening today. My internet, well, there's a quote-unquote outage in the area, as Comcast has stated. I called and they said the outage was going to be fixed at 5 p.m. yesterday. You know what time it is? Of June 4th? 5 p.m. June 4th? You see what fucking time it is right now? It's not fixed. <laughs> it's not fixed. Oh, it's so annoying. But today we're going to be doing a fishing episode. For those, so for those of you who need to fish, who got to fish, we fish it. We fish in right now. There's a lot of fish that I got to catch in the pond. Um, let's see. Let me, I'll name them right now. I got to catch a Popeye goldfish. A giant snake head. Oh, Jesus. Um, a lot of fish. Small river fish. Uh, guppies, nibblefish, betas, rainbow fish. Uh, Dorado is currently available right now. They're usually available from 4 a.m. to 9 p.m. So I'm looking down at my phone, so that's why I'm not moving. Um, so that's just pretty much what we're going to be doing now. Oh, God. When you don't have internet, it takes absolutely forever to get things sent to you. Oh my god. It's not even worth it. I should have never done it. That This is so annoying. Like, the game takes forever to load. I complained about it a long time ago. I think, like, at the beginning of the pandemic. When, uh, internet was being just kind of messy. Fucking, it takes two minutes for me to load this. Like, excuse me. To load into the game, not to load this. To load into the game, it takes two minutes for me turning on the screen and it's like, oh, press start to play. And to get to that Isabel screen, that's how long it takes. It's fucking ridiculous. Jesus. I have absolutely no idea why they have it like that. Most likely because... Oh, look at this. I have, I have multiples of a specific thing. Beautiful. No, I don't. There we go. Nice, sir. Alright, let's see if we could probably get ourselves a, uh, a giant snake head. They look scary, not gonna lie. NGL, as the kids say. Uh, I was planning to stream today. Uh, sadly, that didn't happen. And I don't know if it's gonna happen tomorrow. Because I don't know about my internet. Comcast is, uh, Comcast is being Comcast. Uh, whoa, that's a big boy. You think that's it? Let's see. Uh, giant snakehead is large in the pond. I don't know what else is in the pond. Oh my god, it turned around. I don't know what else is in the pond, so. Come on, dude. It's like right there. Come on, it's gonna turn to it. Yeah, there we go. Dude, did you see how it reared back? Holy shit. Oh, dude, I already got it! I just got it! I got one tapped it! I just got the giant snake head. One tap it! That's 5,500 bells. Nice! Nice! Let me get that out of my list in my little Animal Crossing app. Awesome! Dude! Dude, what is that luck? I never have luck like that. That's actually really awesome. Let's see. What do I got in my inventory? Uh, let's see. Let us... Grab a couple of these because I want to gift these to my villagers. Let us check out. This is getting destroyed today. Uh, I believe I should be able to destroy it. I'm going to destroy that. I catched all the fish in the ocean that I need, so I don't need any fish in the ocean. Where is that milk in the bottle? Give me the milk in the bottle. I want a daddy's milk in the bottle. Yummy. Ooh, Kabuki! Nice! He's one of the people that I wanted. I believe I already know Bonfire. That's one of the first ones you learn. Um, actually, I think that is the first one that you learn. Because <sighs> they want you to make one. Hello, giant fucking terrifying thing. Piano bench. So I could buy more piano benches. Oh, look, Leaf's here. Uh, oh, I ended up skipping where I wanted to go. Let me go back up here. 
I think it could be placed on this. So, I'll place it. I mean, there's no room. Is this, like, big, big? No, that could have been placed up there. Look at this. It's a big boy. Let's see. I think I could, uh... I think I could... No, I can't turn it. I can't turn it at all. But that's a big boy right there. That's awesome. I'm actually extremely happy at that. I got one of the big fish that I needed. I wonder if we could get Dorado today. Dorado is a extra large fish, and it's the only extra large fish in the water. So we'll know it's there once we see it. So that's actually really, really cool. I like that. I love it. Beautiful. Beautiful. And I think I've come across it a couple times already. I think I came across it once on stream. Let's see. Right there. Do I have and do I need anything? Let's see. Did I catch the tilapia? Did I catch the tilapia? <laughs> he looks like he's smiling. He's like, mm, yep, don't really care. Oh, I do have the goldfish. Let me mark that in my little book. Let's see, pop-eyed goldfish. Okay, so pop-eyed goldfish is the only one I'm missing from the pond. Uh, do I have the tilapia? That's a bluegill. It's a black bass. That's a loach. It's a piranha. Okay, I do not have the tilapia. I believe so. We got the bitterling. Yeah, I do not have the tilapia. It's in the river. It's a medium size. It's worth 800. That is not medium. I can tell you for sure that's not medium. That could be small. Let's see. Let me look at this more. Uh, nibble fish. Do I have a nibble fish? Mm, do not have a nibble fish. Let's see. How about a guppy? Do not have a guppy. Rainbow fish. I do not. I might, actually, I think I might have one of these. Uh, and then Dorado fish. Okay, so. All these are smallest and small sizes that I need. And one's medium. So I just got to look for smalls. The, the smallest I possibly can. Like that. Look at that. Oh, my uh, my allergies are actually acting pretty crazy. I'm ha I'm experiencing like intense nasal drip right now. Uh, so when I'm talking, I'm <laughs> it's kind of disgusting. I have stuff dripping down my face. Um, so I'm gonna have to take uh, a couple breaks uh, to blow my nose. Like right after this fish, I'm gonna try to empty my sinuses. It's it it's humid. I went outside to do some work. And then, in turn, my sinuses were like, yeah, how about you don't fucking do that? Oh, there we go. Look at that. I caught a guppy. Look at this. I I'm having extremely good luck. That's awesome. For those of you who've watched me do fishing ones before, I've had awful, awful luck. Basses for days. But I guess uh, the, small, the spawn pool that I'm currently going for right now isn't too bad. Uh, that isn't extra large, if I'm not mistaken. But we'll go for it just in case. Uh, actually, let me take a pause break so I could blow my news. You know, this actually brings back uh, to a memory of uh, when I worked the pizza line at, uh, at my job. Uh, everyone works the pizza line pretty much because it's the most demanding line. Because uh, we have to make all our pizzas, pizzas from scratch. And then pizzas from scratch, and then we also have, like, the smallest area to work in. It is absolutely ridiculous. But, um, I remember I was having nasal drippage. Uh, my face was just leaking, no matter what I did. Um, taking Advil, taking anything like that did not, did not help the situation at all. And I remember I had to go, I had to go into work, and I had my, um, shift manager there. I, I worked with my shift manager because I was one of the only people who would come in on busy days and I would come in early and I always came in early because I wanted extra pay so I came in early no matter what um, and plus I knew what it was like just to be abandoned right when it comes to working in a kitchen you're kind of like um, I don't want to say fraternity but you're kind of like working together you're not working against one another if someone's actively working against you they don't survive. Um, I remember I was having like nasal issues and I was going to the front and I was like, can I have medicine? Can I have medicine? Give me medicine. 
um, or uh, or give me a face mask, and they wouldn't do it. Um, and I remember one of the one of the front desk people came, one of the cashiers came, and she talked shit to me. Um, she said, "Oh, she's like, oh, Alex, look at you, so sick, can't handle a stuffy nose." Uh, he's like, oh, he's like, I feel so bad for you. Uh, he's like, there's actually people in the world with real sicknesses. And I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> I don't know what I was was up with her. Um, I didn't like her at all. I it's kind of interesting when you work with different people, you just meet some kind of rotten people. Right? You just meet rotten people who are either disenfranchised from their workplace and are taken around, uh, taking it out on everyone else, which is usually mostly the reason. They're just taking it out on everyone else. Um, because it happened to them, and then they're just like, fuck it, I'm just gonna be a toxic basket case uh, at work. Right? I'm gonna... Because I'd rather be home. Um, so... I was never a fan of her. Uh... I know upper management liked her because she was, she was a uh, she was sweet customer service, but she was awful to the people <laughs> working. I don't know what her issue was. I have no idea. I remember um, I I had to come in early because she was on her period on her last day of work, right? And she couldn't work as hard as she could. And so she called the boss, who called me, and said that I had to go in because she was on her period. And um, I was like, I was like, does you know that happens like once every month, right? Why does it happen now on the last day of her job? And I was like, he's like, you know, just do it, uh, <laughs> just do it for her. And I was like, I don't fucking understand what he mean, just do it for her. I had to come in, and uh, she was supposed to help, but she was just like, oh, she's like, oh my, I might be pregnant, um, I thought it was blood, but then it, it wasn't, I'm like, what, why are you lying, why, there's literally no reason to lie, all you had to do was work, work literally three more hours, so I came in, my shift started at 11, and I came in three hours prior to that, and I did clean up for myself. I did prep up, prep work for myself. Um, I did have a giant donut order. I had to make uh, a whole bunch of donuts for the Methodist Meth Methodist Church. That cranky old lady. I don't want the donuts in the thirty donut box. I want the donuts in the twelve donut box. I don't want my donuts touching, but they touch literally in the dozen box. They touch in the dozen box. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I can I I can't stand. I couldn't stand those those church people. They they nothing, nothing satiated their hunger. Their hunger complicated for no reason. For no reason they were complicated. What was her name? That lady's name was Leanne. Whoever it was. Uh, let's see. Ba -ba -ba. Weird memory, right? I'm sure we all have bad work experiences with people. Uh, because there's a lot of people out there who take advantage uh, of others. Um, and I've noticed just from working that the older generation really doesn't give a fuck about anyone but themselves, which is kind of crazy. Um, everyone who was older than me was either rotten, outright mean, and didn't care about the people around them, uh, or they were mentors that told you to watch out for other people. It was kind of, it's it's we it was weird. I never expected the work dynamic to be like that. 
Uh, I thought it was like, all right, we all have a set goal of wanting to make money and go the fuck home. But no, people just want to make your fucking day miserable for no reason. Because they're miserable. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Give me that balloon. Give me it. It's got money in it. It's got tendies in it. Give me. Mummy. Mummy. Can I have tendies, please? Mummy. <laughs> Where'd it go? It's okay. It's right there. All right. This is a perfect place to hit it. <laughs> I have water everywhere now, so everywhere is like a dangerous place to shoot it. Isn't that funny? Um, let's see. Come on. Come on. Come on. Boop, boop. I've talked about the, uh, having older co-workers. Uh, people who have kids, uh, in their mid-thirties. That's what I mean, older. Uh, shell wand. Ooh! What does that look like? <laughs> Unwilling to work because they have the... You know what's kind of interesting? I feel like most people use their children as ex ex as excuses because they didn't want to work. Um, I had this one person, this one lady, and she was a scumbag, right? She was... I... I I felt bad for her. She would tell me a woe is me uh, story, and then she'd be like, uh, she'd be like, uh, I'm trying to quit alcohol, right? She was struggling with alcohol. She was an alcoholic. Uh, she's like, I'm trying to quit alcohol, and like, it's burning a hole through my stomach, and I don't have enough money to buy Tums. Hey, Alex, can you go buy me Tums? I'm like, sure. And I bought her Tums, which were $10. She wanted the specific smoothie flavor. Uh, because the other ones didn't work because those ones were strong and dumb me was like, okay, yeah, I'm helping someone. Why not? Helping someone less fortunate than me, you know? Why not do it? And, uh... Once she took one thing, she went as far as she can with it, asking for money, uh, willing to give specific services with her mouth... <laughs> <laughs> uh, for that money, it was like, oh my god. She was lost, and she would use her children, uh, her child, to manipulate people. Um, she was considered an unfit parent, and her child was taken away from her, and her uh, boyfriend took custody um, due to her drinking habits. And she would lie to uh, boss man that she, in turn, uh, had her daughter over. In which she was only, she wasn't really allowed to see her daughter. Uh, she was only allowed, like, uh, what was it called? Supervised vision, vis or whatever it is, for like an hour. She wasn't allowed to stay over or whatever it is. And she lived in an apartment with like four other people. And, uh, my GM, she knew everyone. She was, like, a big fixture in the town, right? So she knew everyone. She's like, she's like, I know she's lying. She's like, Alex, I know she's lying. I'm gonna give it to her because she's probably hungover. And I'd rather not have her take 30 minutes to close the store. And then have people come out of the bar and be like, Well, the fuck are you guys open? Oh, my God. Can I even reach this? I can't even reach this. This is mad annoying, bro. I really gotta... They really be having me make fucking... Hippity hoppities for this, aren't they? They're really gonna make me make hippity hoppities for this area. They really are oh, gonna be doing that. Oh, let's see. <sighs> Nice Cool. Nice. Cool. I should be able to reach it now, yeah? Why would it swim to the... 
This is ridiculous. Okay, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. This is fucking ridiculous. Why is it doing that? Why? Oh my god, I can get it now. Don't turn around. <sighs> Ooh, yucky. That's actually disgusting. I'm about to puke. It's like I'm a, a three-year-old. Like the three-year-olds that you see in like home movies when you sneeze and it's just a giant blob. It's gross, man. My sinus. That that pollen though. That pollen do be hitting different. <laughs> that pollen really be beating up my sinus. Uh, let's let's get rid of that one. That's not needed. I need smalls and smallest. And I, I want a Dorado. Give me a Dorado. Give me a Dorado. Give me a Dorado. I can also catch whales. Uh, whale shark is currently available right now, which I should probably just run the perimeter. Just to see if there's anything with a fin out there. Just in case. I know this isn't good to be able to get to make the spawn pool area so big. Uh, doing this actually makes the spawn pool too big and it most likely causes issues. Uh, but, hey, whatever. Dorado, Dorado, Dorado. El Dorado. I ended up messaging my old DM yes, after I talked about that D&D stuff yesterday. I was like, hey, what would have happened if we worked with the demon? I wanted to know really bad. I was like, what would have happened if we didn't work with the beast changing people and we were and we went against the beast changers? Like, what would have happened? Like, because he tried to kidnap us mid fight, right? He succeeded in kidnapping us. And uh, I fell from a very far height and I fucking broke my ass. Uh, I nearly died. All I had was like 62 HP. I think I lucked out with the fall damage. Uh, if you don't know how fall damage works in 5th edition, uh, the max damage you can take for fall damage is 20d6, which means 200 feet in the air, right? So if you get dropped a mile high, you can, you know, do, <laughs> you only take 20d6, which is survivable if you build your character right. If you're around level 10, you can not survive that, depending on who you are. If you're a barbarian, you can survive it. You just rage before you hit and you take half damage. So whatever damage was rolled, the tap damage, it's not like it's like, oh, if it if you roll a one on a dice, you gotta take uh, two extras higher. It's not anything like that, so. So we're playing 5th edition, and uh, the boy, I ended up stabbing him in his little meaty, ugly paws, and he dropped me. He dropped me when I tried to kidnap, when he tried to kidnap me. And uh, I said that was very upsetting, and mid-fall, I threw a dagger at him. And I hit him and, like, I, I, I broke something. But something to have him remember me by. So which I was just like, oh, God. <laughs> all the beast, all the shape-changing people are like, mm, yes, you are very strong. You're like, you're a great warrior, not afraid of heights. Uh, you were able to survive that. Uh, even before you die, you wanted to kill your enemy. And I was just like, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, 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 even though I was just like, you fucking bastard, you you tore my uniform that the nice halfling lady made for me. That's what I cared about the most. A pale chub, nice. <laughs> du -du -du. Ugh. <sighs> when it doesn't want to get scared? What the fuck? We'll do it the hard way then. Look at this. Get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. Forget about it. Forget about it. See, that's considered small. Oh, excuse me. Oh, look, it's Mathilda. I hate how they wear the white tee. I hate it. I don't like when they wear the white tee. It annoys me. I give you all these 
items oh damn i give you all these items to wear you just wear the white tee like don't you find that triggering i find that triggering 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 i ended up releasing the episode uh on discord for my two players and uh, i really I, I released it for a day right and no one responded to it i was like did they read it did anyone read it I was like, and I looked at what I wrote, and I was like, ah, what I wrote doesn't make any sense. Like, the little ping for them to read it, I was like, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, I was like, let me just kind of like re re say what I said uh, again. I was like, did they read it? I was like, and I checked the little thing that lets me see if they read it, and it was like zero people has read it. I was like, oh fuck, what? I was scared. I was like, damn, they're just not looking at it. I was like. Should I have just done it in game? Like, is it was it a a mistake to not do it in game? I was like, it's so much stuff though. If I did it in game, they're just gonna be sitting on their hands for twenty minutes. So I was just like, no, I think this is the right thing to do. Uh, I was worrying, but like, I I I released the intro of the first episode, which I called the games episodes because it's so much. It's so much easier calling them episodes than be like, oh yeah, game one. So, and plus it, it was, uh, I've talked about how they failed, right? So, I needed to, I needed to come up with how bad things really are, who's alive, who's not alive, um, you know, what people believe. Um, creating powers that would uh, come up in the vacuum when these people are gone from people's lives. Like, you know, I was just kind of like, that's what the whole uh, whole thing was for me. And then I was like, all right, uh, this will be an info dump um, to tell them how things are. I ended up doing that. And uh, I got the response that I was looking for. <laughs> Anger. Fury. <laughs> I got the response I was looking for, so. Hopefully. 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 I'm always excited for new things in D&D, even though it's just always... Uh, it's just new scenarios. That's just pretty much it. Getting closer and closer to the end game. Uh, things like that. What they have to do to get to that end game, or whatever their goals are. And not make it seem like I'm actively trying to say no to them, uh, to it, like actively being like, uh, I feel like there's a point where like you, <sighs> it's kind of interesting where they, I've had this happen to me twice, um, where I had one happen with, actually three times, I had one happen with Momo, and one with a player who doesn't play anymore, where they just were like out of character, like do you just not want me to do this? I'm like, uh, what? <laughs> uh, what? And it was funny because it's about, it was about the same thing. Uh, about trying to jump and climb up a wall that is smooth, which is, <laughs> which is kind of funny. I was like, I, no, you can't. I was like, your jump height isn't that max and you didn't roll well enough for it. Like, what do you, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? You rolled for it and you failed and it wasn't good enough. Crazy. <laughs> I find it funny. Do you not just want me to do it, man? I was like, uh, no, I don't care if you can or not. It's not gonna change anything. I'm jumping up a wall, but. I wanted to keep things a little bit... I wanted to keep your stats based to you. I don't want you... I, like, honestly, if someone was able to jump four feet into the air... Like, what? Okay. Maybe not doable? <laughs> now, there are spells for you to jump high. I can tell you that. Make you jump five times higher? A leap and bound crazy lengths you leap like 25 feet pretty crazy and their first level 
That I would love that. Why not? Let's see. Now I'm just catching fish. Uh, look at that. It, you know, tilapia looks like such a pretty fish, but I heard they just eat shit. Right? They're mostly farm grown, and all they do is just eat their shit. That's what I've heard. Right? I don't know. When it comes to farm raising fish, uh, none of it seems very cool. Uh, but when I think about it, when it comes to any aspect of farming, I don't think it seems cool at all. Um, where I think of this farming as condensed, as in like super planned out hunting, pretty much. Like you were able to manipulate and trick the animals into staying in a specific area, so hunting, quote unquote, hunting is so easy. Um, where it's not even considered hunting, really. Uh. Look at little baby. Look at little baby. Ooh. A lot of subjects we've covered today. <laughs> Me randomly talking about my ass. Woo! Randomly talking about my ass. A Neo Tetra! Neo Tetra looks like a fishing lure. It just looks straight up like a fishing lure. I wonder if that's what they're based on. The small fishies. I'm pretty sure they're based on something. Yeah, the small little fishies. I keep doing this by accident. It's not my fault. It was kind of interesting. I see Mira outside, but yet she's not. When I first started the game. Let's see. Let's go check. Let's hope she's, uh... Crafted something. Because I want some. Oh, she's sleeping in the corner, lifting weights. Make yourself at home, okay? <gasps> hey, Mira. I want to give you this. I feel like I almost threw up. Uh, yeah, thanks. Dragonflies are kind of scary. I've seen how they hunt. Uh, imagine if they're gigantic, right? Big, giant, just creatures flying through the air, picking up children, just like the coyotes of the sky, right? Where they're afraid if there's multiple of you, but if you're alone, they don't give a fuck. They'll jack the shit out of you. They don't care. They don't care. Of course I missed it. Boom. <laughs> Boy, the more I pick up, like, just garbage, it makes me just want to fight people. But I think I'm doing... Who's throwing garbage? Hold on. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Who's throwing garbage on my beautiful, serene island? Who's doing that? Actually, I want answers. I'm angry now. Give them to me. Who's throwing garbage in my fucking island? How dare they? How dare they throw garbage in my beautiful, delicious, plump, double D, 34 strap island? My goth GF island. How dare they? I seen someone on TikTok do a Muffy cosplay, and I was like, whoa, you did very good. And on, they also did the way that she sang, and I was like, whoa, that's very good. Good job. Hello, it is me, Goth GF. Actually, just a sermon. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Goth GF away. <laughs> Have you ever wanted a goth GF? No way. I remember. Before that even became a meme, I told that to my mom. I was like, 
I listened to like Evanescence and I was like, what is she? Like, what type of girl is that? Because I've never seen one before. Only my cousin. My cousin looked like that. My cousin was a vampire. She would file down her teeth in her extremely Catholic home. Oh god, it was great. They kicked her out for a long time. And then she married a very rich man. And then they accepted her. Only after that fact. Because he had a very big house. Um, and, uh, and then she became a real estate broker. A vampire real estate broker. Weird, huh? And then the economy crashed. <laughs> oh, shit. I know, it sucks. I don't want to run a high no more, no more. Uh, but I look. I remember looking it up during like the MySpace days, and I was just like, "What is it?" And they're like, "Goth." And I was like, "Wow." And I remember my mom asked me. She's, she was like, "Do you like girls?" Because everyone, everyone thought I was gay when I was younger. And I was like, "Do you like girls?" I was like, "Yeah, I do." He was like, "What kind of girls do you like? Do you like Mexican girls?" I was like, "Uh, no, I don't. I think they're kind of gross." Uh. And, uh, she's like, what type of girls do you like? She's like, I like goth girls. And she got mad at me. She's like, why would you want a girl that'll spit on you and blow smoke in your face? I'm like, what? <laughs> I was confused. I was like, huh? What are you talking about? Amy Lee would never do that to me. I don't want to cry no more, no more. Let's see. Boo, 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 boo. Amy Lee would never do that to me, bro, mom. A career skirt. Ooh la la. Mr. President, the slit is exactly where it should be. Let's see. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even know what that means. That doesn't even look like anything. Oh, Mr. President. I dropped your coffee. Oh, Jesus. I'm actually that character from South Park now. My name is Cloud. I have the sword. I fly cat doors. He's a boy. I like to ride on chocobos Cause it's better than having an afro And if you go into an end 15 seconds it's day again I like to ride on chocobos It's better than slapping hoes Let's see Because Well, I know it says location river, but I don't know if it means, like, river up top. Right? Is there any... Actually, actually, you know what? I can figure this out if I do this. Let me look through my... Because I believe you can still catch snapping turtles right now, right? So... If I just went... Now, actually, if I just went to my list of fish... Right? Let's see. <laughs> oh god, don't mind me. I'm literally just messing with a phone on my app. Messing with an app on my phone. Uh, Arowana looks like an absolute cutie. I would give it Arowana. <coughs> <coughs> Woo! Smooch. Okay, so Snapping Turtle in this app only says river. And you can only catch it at the second part of your river, right? No, 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 that's a lie. No, I'm absolutely wrong. I'm gonna go catfish. Catfish is in a pond at a specific time. What is caught up top? Okay, how about this? Let's go to string fish, right? Or cherry salmon. Oh, it will say river cliff top. Okay, got it. I was like, man, this app is flawed, dog. As long as I got my suit and tie. I never listened to that song until I listened to a top songs of the 2000s. I was like, where'd this come from? 
Oh man, that brings me back. During like the first year I was doing YouTube, I would stream every once in a while on my back computer and it would just be my face. It would not be games. And I would talk to people, right? I would talk to people. I would bring them into a Google Plus call and we would talk. Oh my god. Oh my god was a was that weird time. There is a guy named Unish. I think that was his name. It, his name was A N I S H. An Anish. Right? Anish. I thought it was Anish. And he told me, he's like, that's not how you say it. And I was like, how do you say it? And he was like, uh, it's actually very simple to say. You should know how you should know how to say it. I'm like, yeah, I obviously don't know how to say it. How'd you fucking tell me how to say it? And I, uh, <laughs> he came into the call and he told me how to say it. And he was like, Unish. I was like, oh, Unish. He's like, no. I was like, Unish. He's like, no. You're not saying it right. I'm like, what do you mean I'm not saying? He's like, I don't understand why it's so hard. And uh, I remember he would talk about how. He loved wearing suits and ties, and it made him feel like a man. And I was during my rebellious phase, and I was like, uh, suits and ties are just straight up, uh, you know, gay. Um, or at least that's how I believe they were. Uh, right? I was like, they're just so gay. Gay, 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 gay. You're gay, 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 gay. Right? You know, you know how it was back in the day. Um, <laughs> you're like, no, Luna. I don't know how, how it was back in the day. Because I never said that. Okay. Alright. We're just going to pretend that we didn't say awful words. <laughs> and didn't grow up out of them. I never said words like that. Okay. I don't believe you. <laughs> okay. Let's see. It was a wonderful time. I also, there was like a, a politician from Florida who used to, who watched me back when, and he would come and talk to me, and he would talk to me, uh, he would, uh, I would feel inferior to him because he was always be talking about his computer, right? How strong his computer is, and that I'm missing out on a lot of games because my computer's weak, and I was like, I don't have a lot of money for it. Uh, and he was like, building computers isn't that much money. I was like, I don't think you understand. I don't have any money. Um, <laughs> it's not like, oh, I work a job and I only have $50 to use after bills. It was, I don't have a job. <laughs> and I don't plan on getting one because I'm going to kill myself before that happens. Right? It was, it, was, it was a situation like that. I don't know. And he was annoying. I don't know. The way to, his opinions on video games was weird. I, I felt uncomfortable by him. But it doesn't matter. I was rude to absolutely every single person in that call. No matter what. Whatever my little temp and tap trim was, I took it out on them. It was not a good time. It was, I guess it was kind of a fun time. But it was not a good time. There's a, there's a time where I took out all my anger on this brony. It was during the time where I stopped being a brony. And I ended up having getting out of a relationship, and I was just like, you know what? I'm blaming blaming bronyism for it for that year that I liked My Little Pony. Oh my god! I think you can still find videos of it. I didn't delete them. I kept them there as just shame, um, <laughs> just so just just to keep myself in check, just so just so I could know that like, yeah, you were like this. Uh, you know, you're singing smile, 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 and you're like, oh, uh, uh, Fluttershy GF. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. God, I'm cringe, bro. I'm actually cringe. Alright, here we go. Right now. One, two, three. Remember when cringe collections were really big? That was pretty crazy. They just kind of ended up going away. Or maybe it's just because I kind of moved away from them. Oil lamp, of course. I remember cringe collections being so big. Like the phrase like, oh, I'm going to put it in my cringe collection. Tanner, I have a perfect gift for you. Are you ready? All right, what is it? 
Oh god. Uh, brace yourself, you know? It's a baby romper. Excuse me, princess? Yikes! No thanks. Wow, oh, look, they're all singing. I like how they all stopped. How dare they? Except Frida. Frida didn't stop. <laughs> She's like, everyone has stopped singing, so I shall sing now. Alright, my... McDouble bride. My candy cord eared. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks, I could eat these for days, you know? They're scary good. How scary good? How good are they? Or are you just lying? Isn't it weird how majority of the things that we say sometimes is just straight up lying? Like, how are you? Good? We're not always good. It's just a weird saying. Like, if anyone ever throws anything at you other than like, oh yeah, uh, they start like going on about something that you don't care about, you're like, damn dude, what the fuck? I didn't ask for your life story. I just asked if you were good or not. And you're supposed to say yes. And if you say no, it makes it awkward. <laughs> it makes no sense, I tell you right now, it makes no sense. The sense of what it is has, it makes no sense. Let's see, Dorado is actually very difficult to catch. I have not come across one. Uh, I don't even think I've come across an extra large shadow during this entire time. Um... Look at this. I can't make it go away. Look how stupid this is. Look, now I can't step over there. Look. Ah, it's so dumb. So dumb. Animal Crossing is so dumb sometimes. The way that it just doesn't let me manipulate the game the way that I want? Uh, <laughs> Animal Crossing? More like bad the Moon Crossing. <laughs> I bet if I threw bait, I probably would have gotten it. Right? It's extra large, so... Actually, I think there probably could have been a time where I got it. How do I get rid of... I can get rid of this with just a net, right? Fuck off! As long as I got my suit and tie... Off. Oh man, my nose. Whew. This is just a daily occurrence in my life. It, my life is always like this. Like, once winter, I mean, once summer hits, I just can't breathe out my nose, ever. Never. Like, breathing out my nose is not a thing. I'm just a mouth breather. And because of that, I'm just, I just naturally breathe out of my mouth. I don't know if you ever, like, just listen to the audio. You could just hear me just wheeze out of my mouth. If you listen to it good enough, you can tell it tell it in the first episode of Animal Crossing. <sighs> oh my goodness gracious. Now nothing wants to spawn. Oh my god. Get out of there. <sighs> hey, <coughs> woo! Oh, that made my abs spasm. Awesome. Watch this be a fish I need. Oh, I feel it right here. Boom. Weed'em and weep, baby. 
That's right, baby. Got a nibble fish. That's right, baby. That's right. That's a fish that I need, baby. Damn. I'd really be filling out my my stuff. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right, let's see. Let me see how many fish do I actually need right now. Let me calculate. Let me put my calculations in here really quick. Let me ask the doctor. Excuse me, doctor. Doctor, doctor. Can you give me a clue? I got a bad case of loving you. All right, so we got the nibble fish. Get that out of there. We got the cherry salmon. Get that out of there. We got... That's it. <laughs> uh, all right, so what we're missing currently is a pop-eyed goldfish, catfish, a... I already have a char, so let's get rid of that. Um... A rainbow fish, an arowana, which it's just not the time to catch them. Those are nighttime fish. Uh, a dorado, a gar, extra large in a pond, actually. Uh, a a, a arapaima, Jesus, what the fuck is that? A saddle bitch, giant trevely, mahi mahi, a saw shark, hammerhead shark, great white shark, whale shark. Literally all the way, and then I still haven't caught a barrel eye. I still have yet to catch a barrel eye, which I'll have you know right now that I would, in fact, uh, sacrifice my children like Griffith from Berserkuru. Berserk. I take my grasses off. Um, and I would sacrifice them with the behilt to, in turn, get it. Also, if you Google the images of the fish, it's literally the same image over and over again. I don't know if... I don't know if you know that, but it is, and it scared the hell out of me. What's in here? Workout pants. Do I look like I work out? No. I complain. I complain about how life isn't giving me something. Because I need it. And I deserve it. And how everything is unfair toward me. Me. Me, me, me. Oh, great. I can't walk through this area. Me. <laughs> Luna, Digivolve 2, Selfish Greymon. <laughs> oh, Digimon. Digital monsters, Digimon are the champion. Champions to one more go down the line. If I don't get a Dorado, I'll let you know. I'll do a hoe down the line. But hey, I caught a majority of fish that I have been needing, so I'm not mad. And I caught a majority of fish that are in this area right now, so I'm not mad. Not mad at all. <laughs> well, there, Bucko. Well there, Bucko. Let me tell you something there. Butter toast. This is it. This is it. This is it. I feel it deep in my bones. I'm not over you. All over you. I want to feel you one more time again. All over you. <laughs> oh, please, Dorado. Hell yeah. Black bass. Oh, God. Dude. Dude, that's not cool, man. That's not cool. I don't even think that's an extra large shadow. I can't even tell, to be honest with you. I would assume that's extra large, because if the medium is that, and then the medium large is the one, and then I'm assuming that's extra large. When I think of extra large, I'm thinking of, like, sharks. Right? I'm thinking about size five. Size five. Shout out to the time when Mustafa tried to help me catch the string fish. <laughs> Shout out to that time. And he was telling me, he's like, that's a size three fish. I was like, when he was saying that, in my mind, I was like, I don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> I don't know what that means at all. He's like, you're looking for a size seven fish. Looking for a Poker Stars Online size of 36D. Uh, let's see. Which I still have no idea what the hell he was doing. Because 
he wasn't helping me. He was helping me fish as if he was fishing for it also, but if he got the fish, there's no way for him to give it to me. So in turn, he should have just been helping bait the area for me. <laughs> right? Instead of just me just baiting it by myself uh, as he goes up and down and fishes in his lonesome when he was trying to help me get a fish. I don't know, man. It's weird. It's sketchy. What are you trying to do? He's trying to kiss me. I think that's what he was trying to do. He's trying to kiss me. He wanted to kiss me. Why do you want to kiss me, Mustafa? <laughs> Remember when I said it was my last time? I lied. I lied. Just like your parents did to you for your entire life, I lied. I lied. And you're gonna get you're gonna you're gonna get used to it. You're gonna enjoy it. What would you do when you get gaslighted by a stranger? Let's see. No, I did. No, I did it. Oh, oh, oh. Now that's epic. That's an extra large fish if I've ever seen one. Got him. Easy clap, fellas. Look at that. It's a size 4 fish. Uh, fucking idiot. Because uh, you're stupid. Uh. Yeah. I'm still wondering what that person who added me on Discord for Animal Crossing when I used to stream. I told them what their my what my favorite band was, and they were gonna go listen to it, and then they never talked to me again. <laughs> I wonder how they're doing. I wonder what they're doing. Are you okay? If I ever see you again? I deleted you off my friends list. I cleaned everyone out. <laughs> I cleaned in everyone. Everyone who contacted me for Animal Crossing. I, I literally had like the worst conversations. I know it feels awful of me saying this, but the conversations were so one-sided. I... <sighs> they just didn't know how to talk. I felt bad. I kept trying to talk to him and talk to him, and like it was just like it was like one sentence responses, if not one word responses. And I was like, "This is so awful." Wait, I'm trying to talk to you about an experience you're telling me, and I want to know more about it because I'm interested. And you're not playing ball with me, and then also not giving me anything when you want to talk to me. It was bad. It was bad, man. This is it. Here, me being negative is gonna get me to this Dorado. I feel it. I'm gonna shit talk people. Uh, I'm gonna kill my D and D uh, players characters. Uh, oh no, that was a Dorado. No. I was trying to talk more negativity. That sucks, dude. Ba, 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 ba. You know what's kind of interesting? When you're getting to know people, there's always like a set number of questions that you always ask, like, what's your favorite color? What type of music do you listen to? And usually when it comes to what type of music do you listen to, it's very seldom people say like, oh, I listen to hip hop only, you know? I feel like that time is like gone. I feel like that time where we listen to one thing exclusively is, like, totally gone. Um, I don't know why, but I feel like maybe it was just because I was, like, a teenager and I noticed that people listen to things too exclusively. Or maybe it's just because we didn't broaden our horizons yet and then when, as soon as you got older, your horizons get broadened. Maybe that's probably the thing. I'm not exactly sure. But... <laughs> What type of music you like? What's your favorite color? What's your favorite thing to eat? Uh, like, you always have, like, those weird openers that are just kind of, like, like 
after you listen to them, everyone, like, a whole bunch, you're just kind of like, wow, it's like the same thing over and over again. Um, and it's weird. Alright, so how about you go fuck your mother? Huh? How about that? What about that? It's weird. But I'm not saying it's like a bad thing, but like, I don't know. As someone who's gone through that uh, more than a dozen times, I can tell you that it's it's kind of interesting uh, that everyone has the same openers because we don't really know what to say to one another. And you want to talk to someone, right? And you just don't know how to be open. And you don't want to be too open because you'll end up being like a weirdo. Be like, hi, yeah, how you doing? He's like, by the way, my dad's in chemotherapy. You're like, oh, Jesus. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> right you don't want to do that but you want to be but you don't want you also don't want to go like i actually am uh the leader of the larping group sunshine uh pickle bottom um and i have a queen uh that is a pug named marriott tubman or whatever it is right just <sighs> that that seems a little too weird so you say things that aren't as interesting that are kind of at base level and then we just kind of like nod i don't know man but this weird social structure that we have with each other is so weird i don't like it it's so weird maybe that's why i always try to make people overshare <laughs> i don't know man but i meet a new person i literally write a paragraph i'll write a paragraph to them saying hi thank you blah 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 xyz uh what do you like like i tell them what i like extensively like i am into uh bad dragon <laughs> uh paraphernalia <laughs> it's like i really enjoyed the xenomorph skull um, the acid feels amazing you know i just go deep into that right as deep as i can but maybe people find that weird. I don't know. I also find myself trying to stop myself from XDing. Like doing the XD face. When I was an XD person. I was also a person who, who, who instead of said you, I said chew. <laughs> C-H-U. I said chew. Or chur. Like, are you sure? Like, are you sure? It's so weird. He's like, he's like, oh, I'm so happy to see you. I'm so happy to see you. You are so cute. <laughs> ASL, age, sex, location. I don't know, man. It's weird. Really, honestly, this episode is just like, Luna, you're cringe. That's just pretty much it. How cringe is Luna? That's just pretty much this whole episode. Okay. <laughs> How cringe is Luda? Nice to meet you. You know it's cringe. Someone that I knew, not through not my own friend group, which is literally one person uh, in person I know, but through another D and D person that I know, um, they actually ended up falling in love with one of the <laughs> the DMs and PCs, and they like he was like, "Can you write stories?" <laughs> Short stories about me and them together. <laughs> and I absolutely find that hilarious and uh, creepy. Creepy. Would I find that flattering? I'm fine a little creepy, to be completely honest with you. Uh, let's see. That's a thick ass boy. That's a fucking thick boy. It's a thick ass boy. That's a Dorado if I've ever seen one. That's a Dorado if I've ever seen one. Fuck. Why'd you do that? You sneezed. <laughs> That's a thick ass boy. Alright, one time around, and then we'll be done. Last time around, we'll be done. Get rid of that. Get out of my spawn. Get out of my spawn. Is the internet back on? No, it's not. I see the globe. I see the globe indicator on my desktop, and it has a big old no mark on it. No, is the internet on? No. 
Will it be on? No. Does Comcast care? No. We already got your money. <laughs> There's like those TikToks. The <laughs> TikToks. Some creepy ass TikToks. I love them. Come on. Ooh, baby. Right there. Hit me, baby, one more time. What do you mean I can't suck your dick as a friend? Uh. Roll up like as a friend. <laughs> All guys do is play video games, be on their phones, lie, be stinky, <laughs> and masturbate. Girls, all they do is eat chips, be bisexual, lie, charge their phone. Uh, yeah, this video is just editing, starring just me just saying memes now. <laughs> you the man now, dog. <laughs> I'll buy that for a dollar. Botchamania. Oh, man. Oh, God, I remember when I watched... I, I watched Wrestling. Oh, so disgusting. I'm like the worst person ever. Oh, the pH of the soil is too high. I may die. <laughs>